This Discover Mirrorless vlog post is brought to you by the Me Photo brand of travel tripods. Hey guys, Steve out here in LA. I want to talk about LED lights and the difference I'm seeing between the LEDs versus the strobes. Um, I'm not the strongest lighting photographer, I'll admit that. I like a little more simple setups and you know I've been on hiatus for about the last year and a half uh, at when my my youngest daughter was born. So you know I'm a little rusty and I'm trying to relearn as much as I can while adding LEDs in there. So it's really new to me and I'm still learning a lot. Uh, one of the differences that I really notice between the LEDs versus the strobes like this Canon 430EX is the quality of the light falling on the subject. It appears with the LEDs to be a little more softer, maybe a little more evenly lit, but give a different kind of look in the shadows. I wouldn't really call it ultra soft, but it's, it's, it's different. Um, I think a lot of that has to do with the physical size of the, of the light source. LED panels are much larger, you know, like this, versus, you know, the speed lights where the flash tube's here. So, bare to bare uh, LED without anything on it versus a strobe with anything on it, it's a totally different look. Um, but with strobes, you know, we have soft boxes. So, uh, I got this one here. It's a Westcott Apollo soft box. Folds up like an umbrella. And I've been using that in my kit for a while. Um, and that gives the light to have a you know much more larger physical look. I think the best way to actually show this is to demonstrate it by shooting. So I got my lovely model here, my daughter Madison, who's gonna fill in, and uh, I'm gonna show you how it looks. All right, so for an example, I'm gonna show you what the image looks like when you're using the uh, larger LED panel here versus the uh, flash. So let's come over here. Let's... The light's a little more even and maybe a little bit more soft, but there is some fall off. Also in the daylight, the LEDs are not very powerful. So you need a whole lot of light in order to overpower the sun. Out here, it's more like a fill light for the sun. All right, so I'm gonna show you now what this image looks like when we're using a bare strobe. This is the uh, Canon 430EX with uh, no modifier on it. Okay, you ready? <laughs> All right, I'll go over here. Okay, so as you can see, the image is a little more contrasty with the bare strobe. Um, it's very direct, and there's a lot of shadowing going on in the face, and that's because of the small size of the where the flash tube is. The LEDs versus the strobes, there is a big difference, but it's. A little bit similar, but at the same time, not the same. So it's really hard to, to get that, that same look out of the LEDs. So honestly, I'm trying to pretty much relearn a new style of shooting using the LEDs versus what I already knew with the strobes. There are some other differences, other positives shooting the LEDs can, can do for your photography. Uh, you can adjust the output a lot. Some of the models even have color balance adjusters. You can warm it or cool it, depending on what your camera's white balance is set to. And, um, you know, you can see what you're getting as you're doing it, which is a lot easier than trying to learn how to light with strobes. So I like that a lot. Uh, here's one thing that you can do with LEDs you cannot do with strobes. Let's roll it, Manny. So this is my bike. It has, it has a bell, so when people are in your way, it, it tells the people that are in your way to get out of the way. You just ring it. Actually, I'll ring it for you right now. Well, I'm gonna go ride my bike now, so bye. So that was pretty cool. And that is hybrid photography right there. Madison had a lot of fun shooting that with me. Um, we used LEDs for a little bit of it and uh, you can't use strobes for that. So, hey, that's the future. Um, our team of Hybrid Heroes is working on, you know, finding the proper solutions and figuring out where we're gonna go with this new technology for lighting. So, check back to discovermirrorless.com every day where the team of Hybrid Heroes is vlogging about the latest in e-products, uh, LEDs, audio solutions, and a whole volley of other things. Uh, I will see you again next time, but until then, Remember to keep it simple and get out there and shoot.
Bye. This Discover Mirrorless vlog post is brought to you by the Mi Photo brand of travel tripods.